Hello, everyone. Erica, are you the only one connected? Oh, Erica left. Okay, no one is coming today again. Cecilia. Hello, Cecilia. Are you Hello, the teacher. One? Oh my God, you're the only one today. Everyone forgot we have class today. <laughs> Oh my God, let me remind them on WhatsApp because I it was the same for the another group. No one was remembering today we had class. Oh my God, what is the group? Let me remind them on the on the chat. Oh God. Kids, we have class today. Waiting for you. That was the missing class for Tuesday. No one is answering, so it will be only one one student class. You are very lucky, Cecilia. You will be the only one advancing. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> no one is answering on the on the on the group at the chat. No one, no one remember. Oh my god. <laughs> they are they maybe they went to Santana because they are on holidays. Do you know? Estas Julias. They are beginning today. Yes, I believe. Yeah, I saw in the in the news in the news uh, that they were Teledos, they were making a broadcasting video about the yeah. about the the food. I saw Elote Loco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. Oh, Marisol is coming. Okay. Uh, nah. Oh, mm, one more. Okay. One more, okay, two ladies. Oh my God, and this is a class of 20 people all the time. They forgot today is a class. Okay, ladies, let's begin. Let's begin because you deserve this. You are the only one coming. Let me look for the content here. A ver, en que nos quedamos ayer? En la 3.11, ajá, hicimos el Cosa este del, del, oh, we are missing, a, we are missing a, a, an activity from the paragraph we were, let me know if you see my screen, okay? Do you see my screen, girls? Yes, teacher. Okay. So the question is in the beginning is read the article. We did it a lot. <laughs> then check the things you can find in Astoria. There are six. Vamos a leer el, el ya no lo vamos a leer porque ya demasiado. <laughs> este, y vamos a chequear cosas que podemos encontrar en Astoria, en la ciudad. Y nos advierte que vamos a encontrar seis que se, cosas que se pueden hacer. So let's read them. They are two, four, six, nine, eight, eight, ten. So we will be four that are not an answer. Okay, Erica, uh, good evening. Okay, let's see. In expensive stores, good evening. In expensive stores, there are inexpensive stores in Astoria. Do you, do you believe that? I, oh yeah, do you see? Are inexpensive stores, okay? Checkbox. Big apartments. Apartments was here. Apartments. Uh, they are usually big and roomy. Yes, they are big. Okay. Go to schools. They talked about the schools. Do you remember? 
school. I don't, I don't school. think so. I don't think so. They were talking about the schools. Beautiful. Oh, this is a typo. Beautiful beaches. Beaches no. are there. Are there uh, beaches in Astoria? No. 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 Oh, okay. Great markets. Yes. 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 Okay. Nice restaurants. Mm. Mm, playing in a restaurant, a band. Yes. Yes, you think it's yes? Okay. Many different cultures? Yes. 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 Okay. Interesting old buildings? No. No. Oh. Good public transportation? Yes. yes. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if they are correct. Yes, we got a 10, we got a 10, yeah. Okay, thank you for the participation. Let's move to the other one, to the other. Vamos a ver. Oh, this is the midterm. Did you uh, did you have any any did you have any problems with the midterm uh, exams? No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Completing conversation. Siguiente. Just the correct answer. Siguiente. You write the scramble sentences. Oh yeah. A lot of people had problems with this. I remember coffee from America. <laughs> yes, <it's laughs> <one. laughs> I don't have a glass, glass, glasses. <laughs> so you didn't have the glasses, okay. <laughs> Do you, well, we are only a few. Do you want to read? Oh, Eduardo is here. The first man. Okay. Oh, and Mauricio. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. They are coming. Well, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let's. Um, I will. Um, oh wow. I will read this so you we can practice pronunciation. Make it chiquito. Oh, you see. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit uh, like blurry, but let me see. Dear Ted, Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging on inline skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch. And then we go walking and shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event, like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. That is the, the letter. She's describing what is she doing in, in, in Berkeley. That is uh, the, her city. So who wants to read? Who wants to practice a reading? Oh, more people is connected. Okay, Erika, go ahead. Okay, dear Ted, Berkeley is a great city. Mm -hmm. I really like like it here. Mm -hmm. 
there's always lot of no lot to do lots to do lots to do mm -hmm. every day after class i walk down telegraph avenue mm -hmm. i always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friend there for coffee my friends my friends for, there for coffee mm -hmm. in the evening there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university mm -hmm. for example i sometimes see a foreign foreign movie, foreign mm -hmm. foreign movie or listen to lead music to live music to live music listen to live music mm -hmm. sigo yes Yes. On Saturday, my friend and I usually my friends, my friends mm -hmm. and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. Mm -hmm. I love the shops and rest restaurants. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's a great a great city mm -hmm. for jogging. Mm -hmm. Or in line skating. In line. In line. Mm -hmm. In line skating. Mm -hmm. I'm really getting good at at it. Mm -hmm. At it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown. No, in mm -hmm. Golden Gate Park, period. Because okay. there is a uppercase. Mm -hmm. Okay. In Golden Gate Park. We no, always in Golden Gate Park. It's down. Ah, okay. Uh, in Golden Gate... Tiene que terminar grave porque hay okay. punto. Okay. Uh -huh. In Golden Gate Park. Exactly. Uh -huh. We always go to Chinatown to have lunch. Uh -huh. And then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. Uh -huh. On Sunday, sometimes on I Sunday. Like on Sunday, uh -huh. sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sport event. A sports event. Sports event. Uh -huh. Like a football, a football game or uh -huh. a basketball game on TV. Uh -huh. I think American football is very exciting. Uh -huh. um, well, that's all for new. For now. For now. Oh, es que casi uh -huh. no se nota bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Take care. Uh -huh. Hope to hear from you soon. soon. Uh -huh. Love, Ru. Uh -huh. Okay, we finished. Uh -huh. that, uh -huh. is, that is good. That is good. Okay. Another one, please, that wants to read. Practice. Who wants to be? Oh, Rachel changed the photo. She's in the volcano, maybe in Santana. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Erica. Did yes. You raise your hand. Okay. And then Christian. Okay. No, and Marisol. Uh huh. ¿Quién levantó la mano primero? Erika, ¿o quién, quién, quién lo impuso? Yo vi a Erika. No. No, te ya la ah, bueno, ah, sí, sí. Ah, pues para Cristian. Ajá. ¿Cristian levantó o no? Ok, ok, sí. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, dear Ted. Uh -huh. uh, Berkeley is a great city. No, 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 no. no. I it's really not, like. It's not Berkeley. It's Berkeley. 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 Ok. Uh -huh. Berkeley is a great city. Mm -hmm. I really like it here. Mm -hmm. There's always lots to do. Mm -hmm. every, every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop my favorite. in the afternoon. Favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, favorite coffee shop in the coffee afternoon. Shop. Coffee shop. No, Goofy no, como que es Goofy Tribilín, no, Coffee. Coffee. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, Coffee Shop 
in the afternoon and uh -huh. meet my friends there for coffee. Uh -huh. In the in the evening, uh -huh. uh, there is always sometime something 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 interesting, interesting. to do in town or interesting. The, 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 the um, presence in the beginning, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, in uh, where well, we in the evening, um, there is always some something interesting to mm -hmm. do in town or near the university. Mm -hmm. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for, for the day. Mm -hmm. I love the, the shops and restaurants mm -hmm. and it's a great city for jogging. Or in or in line. In line. Or in line. Uh, skating. Mm -hmm. uh, I really great. I really come on. I really get in this. Mm -hmm. Getting. I really getting. I really getting good at it. Mm -hmm. uh, in Golden Gate Park. Mm -hmm. We always go to Chinatown to have lunch and that we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. on, on Sundays, sometimes I like to play tennis with my friends with or my we friends? watch. Where is my? I don't see my. With friends. Uh huh. With friends. Or we watch a sport event. Event. A sports event. Event. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh, a sports event like a football game or a basketball game uh -huh. on TV. Mm -hmm. I think American football is very ex exciting. Exciting. Ex exciting. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all for new. Uh, Jay Carr. Take hope, care. Uh, hey, Jay Carr. Hope mm -hmm. that here from the... Uh, no, oh. come on, okay. Yeah, soon. Mm -hmm. Low root. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is good. You're very good at commas and periods. You're ending very good the sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just practice the el acento grave, no agudo, sino que empezar con la segunda ante en la penúltima es la el, la fuerza de la voz. Okay. okay, thank you, Christian. And now, who's, who's, who's following? Teacher, can I participate? Yes, of course, Mauricio. Can you please read? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, dear Ted, mm -hmm. Berkeley is a great city. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Oh, sorry. I really like it here. Mm -hmm. There's always lots to do every day after class. I walk down mm -mm. Telegraph mm -mm. Avenue. There's always lots to do, period. And a pause. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I there's... always like to. Oh, uh -huh. there's always lots to do mm -hmm. every day after class i walk down telegraph avenue mm -hmm. i always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee mm -hmm. in the evening there is always something interesting to do in town mm -hmm or near the university. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live, live music. Mm -hmm. uh, on Saturdays, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I love the shop and restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's great city for, for, oh and my God. And it's a great city. I can see. Jogging. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's in a great city for jogging or in line skating. In line. I, in line skating. Mm -hmm. I really getting good at it. Mm -hmm. In Golden Gate Park, we always in Golden go in Golden to Gate Park. Park. Period. Ah, oh, sorry, I can see. But you, in you, have, a, you Park, have an app, an uppercase. Si empieza en mayúscula siguiente, porque ahí lleva un punto. Ah, uh, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Uh, in Golden Gate Park. We mm -hmm. always go to Chinatown to have lunch. Mm -hmm. And then we go walking or shopping in the, in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends. Mm -hmm. Or we watch a sport event mm -hmm. like football game or a basketball game on TV. Uh, I think I'm American football is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all for now. Mm -hmm. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Mm -hmm. Love, Ruth. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Very few mistakes. Very few. Okay. The last one. Another one that wants to participate and practice pronunciation? No? No, no, no. No? Let me see, let me see. No one is raising hand. Or Cecilia. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Dear Ted, mm -hmm. Berkeley is Gray City. It's a I great city. It's a great city. Mm -hmm. I really like in there. I really in like here. it here. It here. Mm -hmm. There always. There's lots, always. Lots to do. Mm -hmm. Every day after class, I walk down tele, Telegraph Avenue. Mm -hmm. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop mm -hmm. in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. Mm -hmm. In the evening, there is always some, something mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. to do in, in town or in near town. The, in town mm -hmm. or near the university. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. I sometimes see foreign a foreign mo movie. A foreign movie mm -hmm. or listen to live music. To live music. To live music. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for day. Uh -huh. I love the shop and restaurants, uh -huh. and it's a great city for jogging or in line. In line. In line. Uh -huh. Skating. Skating. I, skating. Uh -huh. I really getting. I am really getting. I, I'm really getting good. At good. It. good at it mm -hmm. in Golden Gate Park. Mm -hmm. We all always go to Chinatown to have lunch mm -hmm. and the and the and then we, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon mm -hmm. on Sunday. Sometimes I like. Sometimes no. Sometimes. Sometimes uh -huh. I play, I like to uh -huh. play tennis. 
with friends uh -huh. or we watch a sport event. A sports event. A sports event uh -huh. like a football game or basketball game. Or a basketball game. Or a basketball game uh -huh. on TV. Uh -huh. I think American football is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all for new. For now. Take, for now. Mm -hmm. Take care. Take care. Hope, take care. Mm -hmm. Hope to hear from you soon. Mm -hmm. Love to hope. hope. Hope to hear. How to hear from you, from you song. Soon. Soon. Mm -hmm. Love Rook. Okay. Okay. Let's translate. Querido Ted, Berkeley es una gran ciudad. Yo realmente, realme, a mí me gusta realmente aquí. Hay siempre mucho que hacer. Cada día después de clase, yo. Camino hacia abajo a la avenida Telegraph o Telegrama o Telegrafo, la avenida Telegraph. A mí siempre me gusta ir a mi eh, coffee shop, es como que al café, ¿verdad? A mi café favorito en la tarde y verme con mis amigos ahí para café, para tomar café. En la noche o en la I, casi cuando va cayendo la noche, tipo 7 de la noche, hay siempre algo interesante que hacer en la ciudad o cerca de la universidad. Por ejemplo, yo algunas veces veo una película extranjera o escucho música en vivo. Eh, el sábado, mis amigos y yo usualmente tomamos el bus a San Francisco para por el día. Me en me amo las tiendas y restaurantes y es una gran ciudad para hacer eh, jogging es como como una como caminar ¿verdad? para hacer para, para hacer caminatas o eh, eh, cómo es que se llama patinar pero con patines de una línea porque están los patines de cuatro entonces inline es patines de una sola línea I'm really getting good at it. Yo me estoy perfeccionando en esto. So, so estoy haciéndolo muy bien, ¿verdad? Me cuesta eso. En el parque del Golden Gate, que es un puente, ¿verdad? Famosísimo en San Francisco, es rojo. We always go to Chinatown to have lunch. Siempre vamos, nosotros siempre vamos a, a Chinatown, que es una ciudad, a almorzar. Y entonces vamos caminando. And then we go walking. Eh, entonces nos vamos caminando o comprando en las tardes. El domingo algunas veces me gusta jugar tenis con amigos o vemos un evento deportivo como un juego de fútbol. Este fútbol es fútbol americano o un juego de básquetbol en televisión. Yo pienso que el fútbol americano es realmente excitante. Bueno, eso es todo por hoy. Cuídate. Espero escuchar de ti pronto. Con amor, Ruth. Esa es la traducción. Ahora, se están comiendo las A. Porque dicen, es, es, like football or basketball game. Y las A. A saber qué se hicieron. Este, de ahí las S. Seguimos con las S. Que no las, algunos, ¿verdad? No todos, pero sí se nos, pero se nos va al final la S. No, no, no. No las pronunciamos. Se oye así como chancomido, ¿verdad? Como que estamos hablando chancomido. Entonces, este, hay que terminar los finales. Como por ejemplo, I love the shops and restaurants. ¿Verdad? Ahí este, nos, 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 nos comíamos. Al final también, walking or shopping in the afternoons. Al final, ¿verdad? Eso es las tardes. 
para definir que son eh, plurales. Quiero ver qué otra palabrita por ahí. Ah, el famoso Berkeley. La segunda E es muda. Berkeley. Berkeley. Creo que otra palabrita se les fue ahí, que bastante les costó. Bueno, coffee, esa sí es imperdonable. No se dice coffee, se dice coffee, con O. Este, in the evening, there's something interesting. Uh, for example, la, 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 huh? Live music. Cuando dicen live concert, es un concierto en vivo. Este, este, el, el que lleva ahí se dice live, pero el que dice, bueno, sí los entiendo porque cuando dice living, con ing es living, no es living. ¿Verdad? Living cambia. Cuando es nombre se pronuncia live. Se, con, se confunde con el LA, LEAVE, que también es live, pero eso es más largo, live. Entonces quiero ver qué otra. San Francisco, restaurants. Oh, inline. Inline. Hay una leche aquí de la, de la dos pinos que se llama inline, que es estar bien figurita, ¿verdad? Inline. Este, uh, quiero ver qué otra se les fue. Bastante. No, mm, es Sunday, I like to play, uh -huh. Sports event. No es event, es event. Sports event. Así. De ahí el exciting. 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 De ahí va, that's all for now. De eso, ¿quién lo dice? Lo dicen los Looney Tunes. Porky lo dice cuando termina en la, las caricaturas. Well, that's all for now. Y eso lo dice Porky a cada rato, o el Pato Lucas, o el Box Bunny. De ahí, take care. Take care es un two word verb que significa cuídate. Cuídate. Hope, 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 no hope, sino que hope to hear from you soon. Recordemos que la doble O es U. Hay excepciones como, por ejemplo, move, que solo es una O y se pronuncia como U. Move. Pero son es soon, con U, soon. Ok, any questions, kids, about the reading? No? No questions? Yeah. Ok, let's continue. Siguiente. Lesson objective. Finally, we are in number four, so we finish the unity. Terminamos antes, okay, porque este para el lunes, pero vamos a adelantar. Uh, for lesson objective, in this session, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. Vamos a aprender vocabulario nuevo para describir personas. Appearance, apariencia. A ver aquí qué dicen. Ok. Primero, la primera, quiero ver qué dice ahí. Ah, hair. Ese es pelo, ¿verdad? cabello, perdón, cabello. Hair. No es hair. Hair es el adjetivo posesivo de ella. Su, ¿verdad? Su de ella. Pero si decimos con la I al final, hair es el, el, el cabello, ¿verdad? Hombre o mujer, no importa. Entonces aquí nos presentan las figuritas, ¿verdad? Long, se tiene que oír la G. Long, brown, hair. Cabello largo, café. Marrón sería más que todo el brown. Short, blonde, D, acuérdense la D dormida. Blonde, hair. Es cabello rubio, corto. Straight black hair. Cabello liso. El straight es cabello liso. O recto, ¿verdad? Bueno, recto es el corte, pero el cabello es liso también. Black hair. Curly. Red hair. Curly es colocho. Curly. Red hair. Los tres chiflados, ¿verdad? Curly es el del pelo rizado. Curly. Por eso se llama curly, por los colochos. Bold. Con la de dormida terminan de bald. Es eh, pelón, ¿verdad? Es calvo, perdón. <ríe> calvo. Bueno, eh, un poquito 
bold es 100% sin cabello o un poquito porque este señor tiene verdad tiene un poquito a los lados pero es bold no es bald es bold con o y ahí está describiendo el, el mostacho el a mustache and beard barba a mustache and beard Ahora, hablando de edad, ¿verdad? Hay tres. Young, joven. Young, middle aged. La E es muda. Middle aged. Es edad mediana. Son como los foris. Por ahí anda esa señora. Foris, foris, por ahí. Elderly. Ya es viejito, de 60 para arriba. Elderly. También está el senior. El senior está como entre los 45 y los 55. Pero ya el elderly sí ya está más viejito, ¿verdad? Elderly. Looks. Looks es como tipo de apariencia. Tenemos el caballero ahí. Handsome. Guapo. Handsome. Guapo. La E es muda, ¿verdad? Good looking. Good looking es que es bonito. Tanto, el, tanto mujer como hombre son good looking. Pretty. Podemos decir pretty or pretty. Con la T bien marcada. Las dos están correctas. Pretty es bonita. Pretty se le dice a la mujer. A un hombre no se le dice que es pretty. A un hombre se le dice que es handsome. De ahí quiero ver. Aquí abajo casi no miro. Bueno, aquí está LT y chico home. Es short. El litigo home es short. No sale. Short. O sea, enanísimo. Súper enano. Short. Fairly. No sé qué dice, pero el fairly es que es bajito y aparte gordo. Fairly. Como decir, este, ¿quién tendría esa, ese cuerpo? Mm, que sea famoso, como este de, el tatú de la isla de la fantasía, la del avión, jefe del avión, ese es Furley. Medium. Medium es una estatura mediana, una promedio, unas 1.60, 1.65. Medium. Medium height. Estatura mediana significa pretty tall. Pretty tall is the president. Nayib Bukela. Pretty tall, o sea, bastante alto. Pero ya very tall ya es inmenso, ya es, aparte de very tall, es inmenso y cholo, ya es Hulk. Ya es Hulk, o sea, ya es así como que, ya es Mario, 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 el alcalde, ¿verdad? <ríe> Ese ya, pretty tall. Entonces, estas son, um, let's practice a, li a little bit the pronunciation, kids. Okay, let's begin with hair. Can you please repeat? Hair. Hair. Mm -hmm. Hair. 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 Yes. The other is short blonde hair. Short, short blonde hair. hair. Okay. Curly red hair. Curly, Curly red, red, red hair. hair. Ahí se me olvidó decirles que el red es pelirrojo. Curly red hair, o sea que es pelirrojo y colocho. Ok, bold. Bold. Mm -hmm. Calvo. A mustache and bird. A mustache and bird. And bird. Mm -hmm. Ahora en la edad, young. Young. No, no young con la Y de, de ya, sino que young. Yo. Yo. Mm -hmm. Como que dicen hielo. Yo. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yo. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ahora la chica es middle aged. Middle aged. Mm -hmm. Elderly. Elderly. En los looks, o sea, en como en los looks es como la apariencia. Handsome. 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 Mm -mm. Entre A y E, no handsome, sino que handsome. 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 Uh -huh. Ahora, good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Uh -huh. Pretty. 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 
pretty, ok. De, es que la otra no sale bien, pero bueno, short. 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 Fairly. Fairly. Medium height. Medium height. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Very tall. Very tall. No, 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 no. A ver. El, be, el, el very no es very. El B es como ese, como que digamos, como que digamos, strawberry. Es very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Así es, el very tall. Me he exagerado, el very, con la B y con la re. Very. Very tall. Como que estuvieran hablando costarricenses. Very tall. Very tall. Ok. Okay, let's listen to the audio. A ver qué más nos enseñan aquí. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, right. mustache, mustache age, young, young. Age. Age. elderly, yes. looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, short, Fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Ok, aquí hay que notar que, eh, hay que en este good looking hay que poner un guioncito. En good looking. Esto es como bien parecido. Así se traduce, bien parecido. Aquí hay diferencia, ¿verdad? Porque eh, IT es short, es pequeño. Pero este señor es fairly short. Poquitito más arriba, pero es como cuadrado. No es proporcional. A eso hay que fijarnos. Fairly short. Esto eh. es por, por los diálogos, ¿verdad? Que vamos a describir gente y tenemos que decir... Que no solo es short, sino también que es fairly short. De ahí en medium height es una mujer de estatura mediana, ¿verdad? Como Marilyn Monroe. Medium height, de estatura mediana. Ahora aquí hay una diferencia. Pretty tall es alguien que es alto, que es bastante alto. Pero en el very tall no solo es alto, sino que también es cholo. O sea, es así como bien macizo, ¿verdad? Así como dicen, bien macizo, bien cholotón. Es, es como big size, <ríe> big size. En cambio, este señor es bastante alto, pero no es cholotón. Esa es la diferencia para designar gente. Oh, somebody has a cell phone. Ok. <ríe> Okay, let's move. Siguiente. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adject adjectives or of appearance will be practiced. Conversation. She's very tall. ¿Qué dijimos que era very tall? Very tall es como bien alta, Ay, pero tío. es estilizada. La chica esta, la del abrigo, es bien alta, pero es bien estilizada. O sea, no es cholotona, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es very tall. Entonces, es Emily y Randy. Vamos a leer una vez. Emily. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. What is gorgeous? Mm, divertido. No. no. ¿Qué es gorgeous? Like, eh, como hermosa. Es así como que la mujer más despampanante que puede haber ah. espectacular. 
es okay. como bien, como es más que amazing, es wow, ¿verdad? Entonces, gorgeous. gorgeous. Uh -huh. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Emily, really? What does she look like? Randy, well, she's very tall. Emily, how tall? Randy, about six feet two, I suppose. Emily, wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Randy, she has beautiful red hair. Emily, and how old is she? Randy, I don't know. She won't tell me. ¿Qué es lo mayuca aquí? Gorgeous. Y también las contracciones, porque ocupan todo es contracciones. Y ven, ahora, aquí hay tres palabras que se parecen mucho. Vamos a ocupar el lapicito. Lapicito. Vaya aquí. E, A, esto se lee hear. Es el verbo escuchar. Pero aquí tenemos es. Mm, ¿Dónde estaba? Yeah. ¿Dónde estaba? Ahí, ahí, ahí. Hair, hair. Vaya, aquí, si no decimos la I, va a sonar igual, hair, hair. Entonces, hair, hair. Is different. En una es el hair de su y en el otro es su cabello. Let's translate. Let's translate. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Oí, oigo que tienes present. Oigo que tienes una nueva novia, Randy. Randy le contesta, sí. Su nombre es Ashley y es espectacular. Mm -hmm. Emily, really? De verdad? De, de veras? ¿Cómo se ve? What does she look like? Si fuera hombre, what does he look like? Si fueran ellos, what does, what do they look like? The auxiliary changes. Esto es tercera persona. Entonces, si fuera, what do they look like? ¿Cómo se ven ellos? O, o pues es un comparativo. Se le pregunta a ella, ella está curiosa, ¿verdad? Está bien curiosa de saber cómo es la novia de Randy. Le dice, ¿cómo se ve? ¿O qué? Le pregunta, ¿what? ¿Cómo a qué? ¿Cómo, cómo, que, cómo a qué se parece? ¿O cómo, cómo se ve? Eso es lo que ella quiere saber. Que le describa a qué se parece. Y le dice Randy, well, she's very tall. Bueno, ella es muy alta. ¿Qué tan alta? How tall? ¿Qué tan, ¿Qué tan alta? How tall? Y Randy, How ¿verdad? Como ahí son en el sistema inglés, el de Estados Unidos, oh, wow. alrededor de seis pies, dos wow. pulgadas. Hay falta, ¿verdad? Alrededor de seis pies, dos pulgadas. Supongo. O sea, él no está seguro de la que la chica está, que la chica tenga esta, esta medida. Entonces le dice, eh, mm -hmm. Emily, how Oh, wow, that is tall. O sea, yeah. eso, oh, ¿verdad? Sí. Wow, eso, eso es, eso es alto. Ven que le pone is en cursiva. O sea, que hay un énfasis. That is tall. Tenemos que hacer un acento fonético bien enfatizado. That is tall. Eso es alto. Así como decimos, eso sí es alto. What color is her hair? ¿Qué color es su cabello? Randy, she has beautiful red hair. Aquí, she has a beautiful red hair. No. She has beautiful red hair without the A. Ella tiene cabello. Eh, ocupamos la regla preciosa, ¿verdad? El 3, 1, 2. Primero se lee el 3, cabello, beautiful, bonito. Rojo. Así va el orden. She has beautiful red hair. Ella tiene cabello bonito rojo. And how old is she? Y eh, qué tan mayor es? How old is she? Ahí no le está preguntando cuántos años tiene. 
Entonces le dice, I don't know, no sé. Ella no me lo dirá. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. So that is the translation. Es bien facilita, pero realmente tiene bastantes cositas donde se puede uno trabar. Así que, este, bueno, I need two volunteers to make uh, the dialogue. One for Emily and the second for Randy. Someone that is not participating. Eduardo, can you please play, play Randy? Okay, teacher. Okay. And another one that is not participating, a lady. Marisol. Sunflower. No, you're not there. Marisol. Are you listening to us? Mm -mm, she's not there. Okay, let's uh, choose another one. Rachel, okay, Rachel, yes. the hand. Okay, okay, let's begin with the with the dialogue and Emily, you're, you're Emily, Rachel. Okay. I hear, I hear you have a new girlfriend, I Randy. I hear, with E. I hear, I, uh -huh. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name, her name is Ashley, and she. No, 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 no. Her oh, name is she? Ashley. No, ahí no mm -hmm. está Elise. Es un construction. Her name's Ashley. Her name's Ashley. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, her name's her name's Ashley, mm -hmm. and she's and she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Okay. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. Very, like How a strawberry. Very tall. Very tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How tall? About uh, six feet. Six feet two. Six feet two, that's all. Uh -huh. Six feet two, I suppose. Uh-huh. Whoa. Wow. That is tall. Wow. Wow. Huh? Wow. <laughs> wow. That is tall. Perfect. That color. What color is her hair? Perfect. Mm -hmm. She has beautiful red eyes. Red hair. Red hair. Mm -hmm. And how old is she? Is she? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. You see, it's really short the dialogue, but it has a lot of things to 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 be careful. Okay. Another. Yeah. Another. Thank you, Rachel and Eduardo. Thank you, okay. Rachel. Let me see. Thank you. Another victim. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Christian, do you want to be yeah. Randy? Okay. Okay, and a lady, I need a lady. Marisol, are you there? No, she's not listening. Okay, Erica, can you please help? Okay, teacher. Okay, let's begin the dialogue. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, Randy. Mm -hmm. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. 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 Mm -hmm. Really? What does she look like? She look well, like. No, she, she look, look like. like. She look like. What does she look like? Mm -hmm. Well, she's very tall. Mm -hmm. How tall? How tall? How tall? Mm -hmm. About six feet to, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is tall. That is tall. That is tall. Uh -huh. What color is her hair? Mm -hmm. 
She has beautiful red hair. Red hair. Red hair. Mm -hmm. And how old is she? I don't know. She wants to tell me. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see the difficulty of the dialogue. It's very easy, but hmm, it has some things that you're describing. And if you don't pronounce very well, that means another thing, totally different. Okay, let's play okay. the video so we can verify the correct pronunciation. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Oigan cómo llega hablando ella al principio, así como que bien. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Así como que. Ya vi que tenés nueva novia, Randy, ¿verdad? O sea, oíganle la entonación a ella, como que anda bien curiosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vean cómo ellos son bien expresivos para hablar su idioma. Él, él es, o sea, está fascinado con la mujer y habla este, así como que, ay, ella es así, así, que la, lo tiene como bien, bien eh, entusiasmado. Yes, her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two. En inglés, cuando dan la estatura, esto es como decir un metro y los centímetros, ¿verdad? Y no, después del dos no tienen que decir nada, pero son pulgadas. Es el sistema inglés. Pero no dicen six feet two inches. Nunca lo van a oír así. Siempre es about six feet two. Y así dan ellos su, su, su estatura, siempre. Suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. Oiganlo. She has beautiful red hair. O sea, como que sueña, ¿verdad? And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. O sea, anda con ella, pero, ni sabe, pero no sabe la edad. <laughs> o sea, no le va a decir, dice. Okay, questions. Is everything clear here? Or anything we want to add? No? No, teacher. Okay. okay. Eso está bien, bien. Está un poco, pues. O sea, solo hay ciertas cosillas, vea que. Se parece, parece fácil, pero no tiene sus cositas un poquito raras. Okay, we have three minutes only. Let's see. Oh, I need an erase. Because it is um erase. Okay. 4.4, lexan objective. In this session, you will learn how to describe ask and answer questions about appearance. Video, describing people. Solo voy a play para ver. Pero creo que en este no vamos a quedar. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe Ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. 
general appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Oh, beard. Hmm. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Ya no regresó, antes quería que regresara. About appearance. Ahí está. Let's go over the audio program. Vaya aquí, eh, para que lo entendamos que está diciendo, es como apariencia general. General appearance. What does she look like? ¿Cómo se ve ella? Así se traduce. ¿Cómo se ve? Que se la describa. ¿Qué se parece? Entonces, él le dice, She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Él usa lentes. Y le complete answers, right? Estamos describiendo todo lo que podemos decir de apariencia. No le vamos a decir... Yes, he does. No. O sea, yes, and he has a beard. Sí, y tiene una barba. O sea, estamos dando extra information. Ahora en age es una edad. How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? She's about 32. Esa respuesta de she's about 32 es que más casi llega a los 32, pero todavía no los tiene. She's about 32. She's in her 30s. In her 30s puede ser de los 30 a los 39. Cuando damos esa, esa opción, ¿verdad? She's in her 30s. Está en sus 30s. How old is he? ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántos años tiene él, verdad? He's in his 20s. Aquí hay dos his. Miren, el primer his es he is, contraído. Y el otro es his, más, más rápido, ¿verdad? His, 20s, está en sus 20s, cuando nos estamos refiriendo a un muchacho, ¿verdad? En height es altura. How tall is she? ¿Qué tan alta es ella? She's 1 meter 88. Ahí estamos con el sistema métrico decimal que es el de nosotros, ¿verdad? Mide 1,88, bastante alto. She's 1 meter 88. She, y le ponen el inglés, ¿verdad? She's six feet two. Así se oye. How tall is he? ¿Qué tan alto es él? Oh, he's quiet short. O sea, quiet es como que cerquita a bajito. He's quiet short. O sea, como que le va tirando a chaparrito, ¿verdad? He's quiet short. En hair podemos agregar más información. How long is hair hair? It's medium length. Medium length y le llega a los hombros. Es así como medio, medio largo, medio largo, como hasta los hombros. Ese es un medium length. ¿Qué significa length? Longitud. Como que de longitud es mediana. Es de longitud mediana. Eso estamos tratando de decir. What color is his hair? ¿Qué color es su, cabe es su cabello? It's dark brown. Es café oscuro. O sea, no solo café, sino que café oscuro. O podemos decir, it's light brown. 
like brown. Café claro. He has brown hair. Eso es solo decir que tiene cabello café. Punto. Sin más detalle, ¿verdad? Cabello marrón. So, this is for giving more details about the appearance. We are not just saying general things. We are adding more, calm, more descriptions for uh, the appearance of a person. Okay, kids, thank you for coming to this class. Today is Friday, so we have to go and rest and have a nice weekend. I hope to see you next Monday, seven, uh, nine o'clock, okay? Okay, you, teacher. Okay. Thank you for coming. Uh, good night. Good night, bye-bye. Bye-bye.